In this chapter, I shall tell you about using grid and snap. These two features allow you to draw objects constrained in space. Go down here to the status bar and toggle on these two modes grid and snap. To control their spacing, click this arrow and choose snap settings. You can toggle on and off snap with F9 and you can toggle grid with F7. By default the snap spacing is half a centimeter in both X and Y directions. Let's change grid so that we see a grid line every centimeter. So I'll type 1 tab here. I'll change major line. I will type 10. I'm going to leave adaptive grid checked, so that the grid density is limited, when you zoom out. And I will leave this unchecked, so that the grid won't subdivide smaller than 1 cm. Let's make sure, that we have grid snap. And, rectangular snap selected. And click OK. So now grid with major lines, every 10 cm. So each little box must be a square centimeter. Let's go ahead and draw a line. And as I move the cursor it's sort of jumping. That's because of snap. We are snapping to every half a centimeter. Just go ahead and draw a line. And press enter to end that line command. So there you have it. Grid and snap. Next I shall tell you about. Making isometric drawings. We will create an isometric drawing. Isometric drawings are two dimensional illusions that represent three dimensional objects. So click on customization and then isometric drafting that adds this control to the status bar. It contains three different planes left. top and right. We will start with the left plane. Let's also turn on auto and snap. Draw a line and let's draw the left side of a mechanical part. Now, I need to change the isoplane, so that I can draw the top. Draw another line. And, snap it. And I'm having trouble snapping here. Hold down shift and right click. And choose end point. Then select this particular end point. And draw a line. Let's draw another line from here. And this time the intersection corresponds with a snap point. And for the next line hold down shift and right click. Choose end point. Snap to that point and draw a line over. Draw another line down here using the same method. And then we should be able to draw lines to connect these in the right view. So we need to change the isoplane to right. And then use the line tool again. And snap. And now it looks like I am drawing the left side again. So I could just copy what I have already drawn here. And I am going to have to snap it to end point there. Now we need to clean up these lines. Type TR for trim. Enter. And press enter again 
to select all the objects as boundaries. And then I can simply click on the parts of the lines that I don't want. So there we have it. Isometric drawing that represents a three-dimensional object on two-dimensional surface. Next, I shall tell you about using polar tracking. We will take a look at polar tracking and compare it with Otho. Start by drawing a line and turn Otho on. Let's draw a line here. I can only draw it vertically or horizontally. I can click points here without having to worry about the angle. If I move the cursor down in this direction and I type 12, enter. It's going to understand that I want to draw it down because of the location of my cursor. Let's turn off this and turn on polar tracking. Polar tracking is controlled with this menu. And you have different sets of angles you can snap to. Let's start by selecting this top option. Draw a line from some arbitrary point and see what happens here. We have a green dashed line representing the polar tracking. I can actually draw a line at any angle that I want. Draw one up here. I can draw one over there. You can toggle polar tracking on and off with the F10 key. Next, I shall tell you about working with object snaps. Object snap allows you to precisely connect objects using the geometry itself as the guide. Open the adutri underscore mechanical sample file from the adutri underscore chapter 6 folder. We have the top view and a right view of this part. I'd like to draw the front view. I will start by drawing a line and the first point will be snapped to something up here on the top view. By holding down the shift key and right clicking, I will choose end point. I can project it down and then press enter to end the command. Now I'd like to draw a line over horizontally from this point. If you find that you are calling for a specific snap over and over again, it makes for sense to turn on automatic or running objects snap. Click on this arrow and turn on end point. You can toggle on multiple modes simultaneously. So I can turn on midpoint. Center. Quadrant. And intersection. Let's see what they do. I will draw a line from the midpoint here over. And I will draw a line from the center of the circle. Every circle also has four quadrant points. I can draw a line from that quadrant. We can also connect objects to intersections of other objects. I have these intersections that exist now that I have crossed lines so I can draw lines connecting now like that so object snaps are extremely helpful in AutoCAD and I use them every day